potty bells don't actually teach my dog to potty outside. All they do is they give my dog a way to let me know that they need to go out. Sometimes one of the elements that we have a problem with with potty training is that as much as my dog understands to go outside, they don't really have a way to tell me. They don't have a doggy door. Um, I don't want them to bark at me or scratch at the door or they just don't do those things. And so they don't have a way to let me know that they need to go out. The potty bells give us that opportunity. Um, it makes it much easier for them to communicate with me and clear communication is the best uh, element of dog training. I mean, it's the whole point. So this is Hayden. Hayden's gonna help us with this today. She's gonna show you how we're gonna start. So I have my potty bells here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show them to her and wait until she uh, shows any interest in them, really. When she does, I'm gonna click and treat. Um, if she doesn't right away, I'll put them a little bit closer to her, but she's already looking at them, so she's probably gonna go touch them right away. Good. Now, she doesn't need to ring them right away, but she does need to touch them. Good girl. Yes. So I'm gonna move them around a little bit. Good job. Wow. She's very excited about this game. So we're gonna make it a little bit harder now. I wanna see if she'll actually ring it. If, if I'm not ready to click, I need to hold it out of her um, uh, reach so that she is not ringing it and getting unrewarded, or not getting rewarded. Good girl. All right, let's see if we can get her to ring it a little bit more. Send her away for a second. Good, nice job. Yes. It's over there. Nice. Good girl. Well, not all of them are going to want to uh, ring it that hard that quickly. So you might have to click and treat for smaller increments just to touch and gradually work up to it. Yes. Good girl. Yay. Nice job. Way up there. Good job. And she's kind of trying to mouth it, and that's okay as long as she gets it to ring. All right, that's our step one. All right, for the next step, we are going to put these bells on the door because we know she can ring them if they're in my hand, but often uh, if it's in your hand, it's gonna be helping your dog go towards it. We actually want our dog to go to the door away from us. So I wanna see if we can get her, hold on, wait, 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 to ring the bells on the door. Now she's already pretty excited about them. I want her to see me put them there. I'm gonna get some treats ready. I'm gonna get my clicker ready. And then I'm gonna wait for her to go to the bells. Good job! If your dog is having a little bit of a hard time, you can uh, stand up and kind of walk them towards the bells. Good job. So now we're gonna try this standing. I'm gonna kind of take a step away and I wanna see if she'll go there. Yay! Now, um, something really important to remember. Right now, this is just kind of a novel trick. The bells are just something that gets her a treat. They don't mean open the door or go outside or potty. They just mean get a treat. And that's how we start, because we want it to be motivating. We want her to understand what it is that we're looking for her to do. The next thing that we're gonna do is actually put a treat on the outside in order to get her to understand about opening the door. All right, for this step, I'm going to throw a treat outside the door and I want her to see me do this. So I'm gonna kind of hold her back. I'm gonna open the door. And I'm just going to toss a treat out there. A couple of them maybe. Then I'm gonna close the door. And because we've been having her ring that bell over and over and over again, that's probably where she's gonna go. Now she's looking at me because she knows the treats are coming from me and I wanna kind of just wait her out and see if she'll decide to do something else. Like, I don't know. Now, if she's really struggling, like right now she's not quite sure what's happening, I'm gonna take a step closer. Yay! When she rings the bell, I'm gonna open the door and have her go get that treat. Now, I wanna 
have her see once again that I throw the toy or the treat out there, close the door. And the way she's gonna get that treat is by, oh, you didn't do it. Ringing the bell. Good job. When she rings the bell, the door opens. See what she does. Now she goes to ring those bells. I'm gonna open the door and she can get the treats outside. Good job. And uh, the last step is just gonna be taking the treat away. So the bell becomes synonymous with the door. The treat out. So now I don't throw a treat out there uh, to get her to ring the bell, but we'll practice a couple times and see. Okay, good. So she'll ring the bell because she likes to go outside, which is wonderful. She goes, I didn't get a treat, so now I'm not quite sure what to do, but that's perfectly fine. That's what we want. I want her to understand that the bells mean go outside. It doesn't mean treat anymore. That was just part of the learning process. Uh, when she wants to go outside, she will let me know. So the upside with this is that uh, your dog will really tell you once they understand the bells. They'll go and ring them when they want to go outside. And if they ring those bells, you want to make sure you let them out. If you ignore them, then you lose the value of this whole process. Ready? You want to go outside? Good girl.